My name is Vitas and I make scuba diving and trial videos and in this video I will share with you my underwater GoPro settings. Before we start I just want to mention it does not matter what settings you use if you can't see the fins of the guy swimming in front of you. You need good water and weather conditions to get quality footage, meaning a 20 meter plus width and a nice bright sunny day. Alright, let's get into it. Aspect ratio. 4x3 is the old standard which was used when the TVs and computer screens were a bit more square. 16x9 is the new standard which I use which is more suited for a wide screen. Resolution. You have the option of 4K, 2K, HD and 720p. It's okay to use any of them, but I personally think 720p is a bit too low for today's standard. I use 4K as it gives me a nicer image and I can reframe the shot if I export in a lower resolution. A 4K will drain your battery faster, will take up more storage space and you will need a powerful computer to edit your footage in post. There is a link in the description to one of my 4K videos. Go check it out. Frame rate. I use 60 FPS because it gives me a nice smooth image and allows me to slow down the footage two and a half times if needed. 30 FPS is a little too low and the footage can look a bit blurry. 120 FPS is too high as there's never such a movement underwater where you would need to use super slow motion. I heard someone saying there's better stabilization with a higher frame rate, but in my opinion just get into the habit of getting quality shots and not rely on stabilization at all. Also higher frame rate takes up more storage space and requires more light. Field of view I use wide as it captures more and looks more natural underwater. I don't like how the linear field of view looks like and when I use wide I don't get any lens distortion and if I do it's barely visible. Stabilization is always on auto. If you want to get quality GoPro footage you need to turn on the Pro Tunes. Shutter speed is always on auto. Usually you just need to double the frame rate but I let the GoPro do it for me. Exposure value. I always use zero unless I'm going snorkeling or it's a shallow dive and it's a bright sunny day. Then I change it to minus 0.5. White balance. It's okay to use automatic. The only problem is when you turn the camera or the lighting conditions change or the distance between your subject changes, the GoPro might automatically adjust the color. The only way to avoid it is to set the white balance to native and adjust it in post accordingly. ISO min is always 100. ISO max I would not recommend going above 800 as it will introduce a lot of noise and graining to the image. For dives up to 20 meter depth, with a good visibility on a bright sunny day, I set ISO max to 400. And for shallow dives or snorkeling, on a bright sunny day, I set it to 100. Sharpness I set to medium, low is too low, high is too high. If you want to have more control over your image, you can set the sharpness to low and adjust it in post accordingly. It's okay to use GoPro color, it's really good. I personally color grade all of my underwater footage and a flat profile gives me more control over the image. Here are a few tips and tricks to make your life easier. I lock my screen so it doesn't rotate. You can do that by going to preferences and selecting to lock the screen up. If for some reason you want to change your settings underwater, you can access the front screen menu by pressing both buttons together. If your GoPro freezes, you can reset it by pressing both buttons and holding them for 5 seconds. It will turn your camera off and you can turn it back on. I only recommend to use the red filter if you're going to color grade your footage. As you can get a red tint depending on the angle you're shooting at and the water conditions. The red filter works best in blue water between 10 and 20 meter depth and is used for wider shots when the subject is a bit further away from the camera. Also the red filter needs a bit more light. I would not recommend to use it for macro. If you want to take macro shots with a GoPro, you need a macro filter. As GoPro's minimum focus distance is 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Which means if you try to shoot anything closer than that, the image will be out of focus. 
Also, for macro shots, I would recommend to use dive lights instead of a red filter. Due to the way the GoPro is designed, you want the majority of your shots to be between 12 inches, 30 centimeters, and 15 feet, 5 meters. This is the sweet spot for the GoPro footage. Here are the settings I would recommend for you to use for underwater footage going below 10 meter depth. And here are the settings for shallow dives and snorkeling. To sum up, I would recommend to try these settings out and then adjust them to the conditions and your taste accordingly. I would recommend to get into color grading if you want to bring your footage to another level. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I have 421 subscribers, so I'll probably reply to it. If you like the video, press like, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you around.